Welcome to Season Chasers. I'm Rob Freeman. Those that love nature and outdoor sports spend a lot of quality time looking for adventure throughout the year. The more you study, the more you learn about the peak seasons in nature. It's fun to know when it's best to go fishing or hunting, when it's time to pick blueberries, wild mushrooms, or native pecans. Sometimes the peak season is close to home, right in your own backyard, or it could be miles away near the mountains and the sea. Either way, this program will chase the seasons where the action is hot. If you've watched Season Chasers, you've probably gone along on an Alaska fishing adventure with me and my fishing buddy Ned. Well, when Ned heard about the short spoonbill season in the spring in northeast Oklahoma, it was worthy of a multi-state road trip just to check it out. Jason Ward and I have been studying and learning Oklahoma spoonbill fishing and we're going to try to share this big game action with you and Ned today on Season Chasers. Thanks for coming along. Season Chasers, sponsored by CP Communications. Come see us at CP Communications, your locally owned and operated U.S. Cellular Authorized Agent in Pittsburgh, Parsons, Chanute, and Fort Scott. Locally owned for over 18 years. Kansas Land Tire, your Goodyear dealer at 9th and Broadway in Pittsburgh. O'Malley Implement, home of the John Deere Gator, South 69 in Pittsburgh. And by Blue Ribbon Farm and Home. And this is the Goofy Goat, right here. I don't know what, how big he is. We've gone up to the main part of the river. This is the Neosho River, down from Miami. And we got a we got us a paddlefish contact. It's the Oklahoma pole paddle. And it's hard to tell how big this one is. And how we got him hooked right in the side, it looks like. With one of these treble hooks. And he's kind of upset about it. Zing! <laughs> Take a run! <laughs> up to the boat you get to see what they look like and then it starts all over again. We we're pulling them in backwards and it's odd, odd leverage here. This is a, probably about a 20 pounder net. See we're starting to tear through the skin. I don't know how long we're going to last but this, uh, this is a real dangerous situation. He's wrapped. He's in the boat! <laughs> we'll sort this out and see what we can. Well, that's your choice. He's not really big. Send this one back. No, you're fine. This is a good spot. <laughs> All right, we got him in the water. Here. 
probably a bill lander. But you can get it probably right behind that tail. Yep, that's where I'm going to reach for. Clear your gear. Good. Ooh, nice one. It's clear. Oh man, I bet you that's 30, 35. Easy. Okay. What do you say there, Jason? Good job, man. Yeah. That was beautiful. Yeah. Man, he's pretty big. Boy, it's hard to hang on. Yeah. Pretty big fish. Yeah. You know what? I think he's more than 35. Good size. Yeah. Now, Jason, when are you going to take us to a good place? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's quite a few other people fishing here. This is pretty good. I don't really want to quit, but uh, you want me to tag this one? I got. Um, duct tape here in the seat. I'm going to keep fishing. That's all right. Put them back. Yeah. Let's let them go. I'm ready. Fishing some more. Hey, I, I'm on with, with, with you. Got him. I say he's swimming on his own. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, man. And that's cool that you let him go. I, yeah. I have no problem with that. Okay. <laughs> I do that all the time. It's not the, quite done yet. I'm not even. It's the catching, man. Yeah, I didn't even break a sweat. It's the catching. I haven't even got my shirt off like that guy over there. Working I just on my uh, can. Just you know, catching them and being out there. That's what it's all about. Oh yeah. That's a hoot. All right, let's get after them. I want to stick. <laughs> There you go. I want to get one. That was about <laughs> Well, that got my blood boiling. Yeah. Right here, right out. Just a little bit out where these guys are trolling. Time to peel down a layer and get after these. I think that guy's reeling one in up there. The white rod sticking up. Yeah. I'm thumbing him a little bit. Hey, flag these guys down if they're not too busy. Oh no! Did he get off? No. He's still on. No. <laughs> this could be a fresh one. <laughs> No, this is pulled out line. I think it's a good one. I think I'll get in the seat. What do you think? I think we're getting too close to the edge, I guess. How deep are we? Okay, I got it pretty loose, so if he starts to run again, Pumping real. Oh, 
45 degrees. <laughs> Here we go, folks. Let's get a look at this guy in the Neosho River in Oklahoma. Hang on, Matt. I'll get him closer to you, buddy. Easy. He wants to go again. Hang on. He's having fun still. I think we'll tag this one. <laughs> That's a good one. They're both having fun still. You give it a little tickle on the belly, buddy. Give it a little run out of me. I, I, I give him a bite in the tail. Ah. Just be careful of that hook, man. Yeah, I hear you. Pull those back wheels out of the... Easy, buddy. Okay. Yep, let's go. Nope. Maybe not. <laughs> Spring has arrived at Blue Ribbon Farm and Home. Now's the time to prepare your garden for the spring weather ahead. Blue Ribbon has hundreds of varieties of top quality garden seed so you can get started. Whether you have a lap dog, a sport dog, chickens, or a goofy goat, Blue Ribbon Farm and Home has all the feeds you'll ever need. You talk about a goofy goat, and this is the goofy goat right here. Why switch phone service because of bad reception? When you can adapt, like this family, with reception antlers. Say goodbye to adapting to bad reception, and hello to the highest network satisfaction of any national carrier. U.S. Cellular. Hello better. Introducing the Samsung Galaxy S3 for only $199.99 at CP Communications. Hi, I'm Chuck from CP Communications, the area's only locally owned and operated U.S. Cellular authorized agent, serving the local area for the past 18 years. Easy, buddy. Okay. Yep, let's go. Nope. Maybe not. <laughs> Let's pull him back backwards again. Here he comes. And he's in the boat. Woo woo! Alright, clear the gear. Gear's clear. Alright. Thank you. Well, guys, it doesn't get much better than this uh -huh. as far as getting you a fresh one, does it? <laughs> thank you, thank you. And let me get a look at him here. What do you think, Jason? We'll go ahead and send this one into the research center. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank here, you. I'll give you my license and everything. We don't like the fresh ones. They, they tend to splash around. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> you mean like that? <laughs> oh no, we'd have to catch another one. I haven't lost one yet. <laughs> I haven't lost one yet. <laughs> Keep it going, Jason, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> today ain't the day. No. Okay, I haven't had time to sign off on this, you know. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> you know how it got caught. Yeah. Thank you. R F. Yes, sir. Thank you. A bath, that guy gave me a bath. I didn't need <laughs> yeah. well, good luck to What's you your guys. best one so far today? Uh, oh, yeah, really 70 probably. Yeah. And this is your first pull, right? Yeah. <laughs> You're about ready to drop off. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's a little, <laughs> little crowded. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, parties like that in the 60s. Well, thank you very much, guys. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thanks a lot, Thanks, guys. There you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wait, wait All right. Well, that's uh, what we kind of came down here for. Um, we were trolling through uh, upper part of the Osho River, just below Miami, Oklahoma. Got into this uh, spoonbill, and we just checked it in here with the uh, Oklahoma Department of Conservation and Wildlife officials, and they got a full bin of uh, live fish that they picked up here, and. So that puts me to uh, running the boat and the camera for a while, and uh, you know what? It's Ned's turn. <laughs> Ned's got to boat a couple of them today, so uh, we'll uh, see if we can boat one for him. So uh, 
my arms are long enough for one day I think I'm gonna stop and uh, watch you guys have some fun now and uh, enjoy uh, the parade that goes by when Spoonbill are running here in the Osho in the Osho River in Northeast Oklahoma thanks for coming along today Woo, on Season Chasers. He's got one on down there, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. Oh, darn. Okay, everybody relax. We got a contact. And Jason Ward, ladies and gentlemen, has another Oklahoma pole bender. Might be a noser if you can, Ned. But I don't like where that tail's at. Yeah, don't touch the line. He's in the boat. He's in the boat. <laughs> Where? Right. And he's got a ring in his mouth. Oh, it's a banded one. You got a banded one. You called it. <laughs> it's a banded one. There you go, bud. Whoa, now. <laughs> Beast. Yeah. So good. Yeah. The shop is not very big, but I got a poor key pin today. Let's just lay them down. Yeah, I want to get them away from that rod. Okay, we can start recording now. Did you miss that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you guys do that again, make it look good? You got it. <laughs> Round two, coming up. <laughs> now, this time, it really is Ned's turn. Uh, the best advice I could give a first timer if you're going out for spoonbill on this river in northeast Oklahoma is bring along big enough tackle. You got to have big hooks. We're using 12 aught barbless treble hooks. Uh, use some big line at least 50 pounds of uh, braided spider wire type line is what we're using and great big high capacity reels uh, that have uh, uh, quite a lot of drag uh, to work with on them because uh, if you get a really big one on you're going to need all that drag you can just to keep it from snapping the rod or snapping the line. When it comes to permits out here uh, I'd give you a little advice here don't make the same mistake I did. Uh, I've, this is the first year that I've really uh, uh, fished for paddlefish in Oklahoma and so the first time I went I just bought a one-week permit and for a non-resident, it's a real fair price, $35. But the uh, state of Oklahoma ended up selling me two licenses this year. After that one ran out, I wanted to come back. And uh, this time bought the $55 season permit that's good through the end of December. And uh, there's a lot of good fishing action at Oklahoma, Grand Lake, and all over uh, all year long. So... Uh, uh, don't make the same mistake I did if you're a non-resident. Just go ahead and buy the all-season license for $55.
If you're paddle fishing, uh, you really do need to have a paddlefish permit. It's no charge in Oklahoma, but you've got to have that paddlefish number to check one into the research center, uh, like we're going to try to do today with several fish. Extreme environments can cause a spontaneous change in DNA, resulting in unexpected power and agility. Introducing the all-new, all-powerful Gator RSX 850i. 62 horsepower, a fully independent multi-link suspension, and a top speed of 53 miles per hour. It's a whole new species of gator. I'm Travis from Kansas Land Tire in Pittsburgh. We offer name brand tires like Goodyear, Dunlop, Kelly Springfield, Mastercraft, and virtually any tire for the job. We also staff ASE certified technicians to provide oil service, transmission and brake work, engine diagnostics, battery service, alignments and more. We also now have a nationwide warranty and ask us about payment options like Goodyear Credit. Kansas Land Tire, 9th and Broadway in Pittsburgh and authorized Goodyear dealer, CR ad and names and numbers. Why switch phone service because of bad reception? When you can adapt, like this family, with reception antlers. Say goodbye to adapting to bad reception and hello to the highest network satisfaction of any national carrier. U.S. Cellular. Hello better. Introducing the Samsung Galaxy S3 for only $199.99 at CP Communications. Hi, I'm Chuck from CP Communications, the area's only locally owned and operated U.S. Cellular authorized agent, serving the local area for the past 18 years. Well, as you can see, Ned got the big one today, and uh, we're going to head up to the ramp and get this one up to the research center before they close today, where they clean the fish, harvest the eggs, and uh, provide really nice fillets for all the fishermen here, Grand Lake, Northeast Oklahoma. Well, we made it back to the cleaning station before the gates closed for the day. The center was paid for by monies raised by the state selling the harvested eggs. We've got a lot of friendly staff here that carefully tag Ned's fish and send it on to prepare it for processing. As you can see, we're not the only ones checking in paddlefish today. First one? Yep. That's nice. Man. Yeah. They're biting today, huh? <laughs> Use the right bait. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Get your hook in the rafters, right? Must have been using the right bait. Yeah. The research center staff record data from each fish brought in. It's really a professional operation. It's a really good day for us, but none of our catches quite made it to the leaderboard.
We uh, gave these to the, uh, to the boat out on the river. We brought them up here and already uh, made these for us. We're about to find out how big our fish were and how much we get for it as far as planes go. But uh, this is the uh, Paddlefish Research Center uh, outside of Miami, Oklahoma. And it's a pr pretty busy place today. We just brought Ned's fish in and they've got it up on the board already. Uh, lined up to be uh, cleaned and sometimes it's taken less than uh, 10 or 12 minutes uh, to go through the line. And here's what we ended up with. Thank you so much. And Mine had a band on it. Okay, which one? JW had a band. JW? Okay, here's what mine ended up. This was a 39 pound, 39.9 pounds. <laughs> It was an eyelash under Well, you 40. called that one. So, anyway, glad to get this done. They checked it in 11 o'clock this morning. It's been chilling. Here's what we ended up getting for it. It's going to be about 8 pounds of plays, I would guess. But here's the one that Jason brought in. And uh, so we ended up with uh, quite a bit of quite a bit to show for it. But I think, I think the bag that Ned gets is going to be bigger. <laughs> Way to go. But, uh, this is an awful lot of fun. And, we're going to share this with some people. I know uh, Jason has some good plans for his, and uh, we got a couple of friends that are dying to change, uh, taste their first food bill. We're going to give them a chance. Thanks for coming along, everybody, on Season Chasing. Oklahoma Spoon Bill action. What a hoot. <laughs> on this outing, we got to fish alongside visitors from several states. We saw boats from South Dakota. Iowa, Nebraska, Missouri, Arkansas, and Kansas, just to name a few. It's no wonder that Ned took the time to visit during this incredible spring spoonbill season in northeast Oklahoma. Tune in each week for some of the stuff you just won't see on other shows. Outdoors, wildlife, and a life of adventure being on the lookout for natural foods, and making the most of what the wildlife provides. Study, learn, and share the great outdoors with someone who's important to you.